So what possesses a man to build his own miniature zoo in his house? It's a good question. Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to this beautiful world with me today. I'm going to do a couple things today. A, I'm gonna bring a snake. There's no snake in here yet, don't worry. I'm gonna bring a snake up to a customer who is also turns out to be uh, somebody pretty cool in the fact that he has built his own personal zoo at his place. From what I understand and from what I've seen in videos, it, it looks pretty impressive, so we're gonna go check that out. Um, I gotta stop by Bible study first, and then it's about 200 something miles up to where we're going. So, a little bit of a mission, uh, but you know, when you get a snake like this, uh, I tend to want to hand deliver if I can. And I'll show you what snake it is when we get there. Let's go. Did I mention that it's 5.30 in the morning? Yeah, get your cocoa blocks. Look, the moon's still up. Start it up. All right, we got about 200 miles or so to go, so uh, I'm just gonna, I'll meet you guys there. was not expected. We could use some of that up north. That's python breeding weather right here. Did I say up north? <laughs> you guys don't know where I am, neither do I. Hey, we're gonna go meet Zach. We're gonna check out his spot. And then I'm gonna show you guys the snake I'm bringing him. It's nice and safe right here. All right guys, this is Zach. We're gonna check okay. out his animals. We're gonna show you the snake that he got in a moment, but this is how you can tell we're at a reptile breeder's house. Always cleaning tubs, guys, always. So what possesses a man to build his own miniature zoo in his house? It's a good question. Um, so basically we started this uh, as literally just for my animals. So this was just gonna be where my reptiles go under my house. We did not think we were gonna make a uh, Instagram, a YouTube, it was just for fun. And we actually only bought this house about a year and a half ago, remodeled the whole inside, and while I had contractors doing that, I did everything you see here. I've been playing with reptiles since I was literally a year old. I have photos of somehow me catching a lizard in a diaper. Um, I don't know how, like, because no one in my family liked reptiles. Can you show us um, some of your favorite animals here in the zoo? He is one of my absolute favorites. Let's see if he wants to come out. This is Kiwi and Honeydew on the wall back there. Kiwi is my boy. Honeydew we're still working with, but she's doing great. Um, so this is my boy Kiwi. Hey buddy, you wanna say hi to the camera? What's up? Say hi. <laughs> so this is Kiwi. Um, he's maybe about a year old now, so he's He's a uh, dog tame and cannot wait for him to hit three feet. So this is their enclosure for now. They will switch out once they get a little bit bigger. We have some rattlesnakes. Um, so let's go, yeah, this is. <laughs> we got a resident tortoise. Yeah, this, is, this is our resident, resident turtle. turtle. Roams the zone. He roams the zone and his enclosure is over here. So he's got this whole strip down here and he can go in and out as he pleases, um, which I opened up over here because he just kept es escaping. So that's how that goes. This is our frog wall, if you will, more amphibians. Um, and the reason is this runs right underneath our house 
and so it has nice, fresh, cool air coming through all day long. So if the room is too warm, they're still getting cool there. Um, and then let's go right over here and I'll show you this girl who just shed last night. She's one of my favorites here in the zoo. These are our, um, our rattlesnakes, Northern Pacific rattlesnakes. And down here is many are Brazilian rainbow boas. So we have a lot of super, super high-end Brazilians. She is uh, a mid-range Brazilian, but super sweet and loving. And so she gets to be in the zoo. She's got some real cool orange coloration on her side with beautiful blue hues. So she's just one of many. We have some pregnant Brazilians right now that'll be giving birth in the next few months. And, um, but yeah, so she's just one of my favorites here. This is Goober. Goober. I like the name Goober. Goober, our <laughs> giant day gecko. Oh, and he's, he's big. He's a giant. <laughs> this big enclosure is Teggy, our Tegu, but I've had her for close to 20 years now. A lot of the animals actually that I had California native have been with me for 15 to 20 years, which is crazy. So that's it for the zoo, really. Um, you know, a lot of fun in here. Um, this is just more of a token. When somebody gets a snake from us or a reptile of any sort, I just, uh, that's kind of your ticket in and we just do a whole tour and education, 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 education is my thing. I love doing that. I actually have a degree in animal science from UC Davis. Then I went into finance, so I had to come back and bring that uh, degree to you. So that's, that's where it came out. Sick, dude. So on top of the zoo, Zach has also built out a couple of sheds here with animals. So we're gonna take a look in here, see what we can see. This shed, we got a little bit of everything in here. Um, we'll start with some cool frogs. Uh, so these are all of our little uh, poison dart frogs, that the bumblebee dart frogs that we um, actually we have the parents in my office, um, and so we only had a couple of frogs, and we did not have any plan to breed them. Um, and then this happened about 40 frogs later. Um, so first time actually raising tadpoles, um, except for the big bullfrogs back in maybe high school or something like that. But these turned out awesome. So these are your marbled newts that we have for sale, the youngsters right now. But take a look at that color. I like to argue that we have probably one of the best Brazilian rainbow boas in the world. And this is her, and so here's the male that we're trying to go with her, which is also a gorgeous snake. This is the male. Maybe bring it out in the sun in a sec, not the male, but this is our female here, and, and um, there's not much like her. You can take a look at her colors and her crescents on her sides. They're just bright red, and all of these snakes are, you know, teddy bear sweet. But look at those crescents right here on the side. Huge red, big girl. This is a box that arrived this morning. I've seen these um, all over the internet, but these are a, a unique style of them, at least from what I understand. So, oh, I'm not, not, he's, I'm, he's I'm not going to show you right here. I'm we're not going to show you. I'm, we're going to go, so <laughs> we're, we're going to go over to his channel and we're going to do an unboxing on his channel. So there'll be a link down in the description for Zach's channel. So you guys can go check out the unboxing of the animals that he's got right here, right now. And we'll see exactly what it is he's working with. There is a fantastic snake in here. This is one of my favorite species. If I can, if I see what I think I see on those scales, this is my favorite species on the planet when it comes to snakes. This is mine as well. Um, it sm smells a little in here because we had a little dead mouth this morning, but I cleaned it up. Medusa. She actually gave us babies last year, so we had uh, four good babies. Um, this is about as gorgeous as they get. Let's see if you can see any shine on her oh, out yep. in the no, sun. Right and the, in the sun, you can definitely see the rainbow underneath her right, oh, right here. Right, right when you said shine, it was like perfect. Ping. So this is her. She's a good snake, honestly. Um, we did hand this snake to um, to a family member, an aunt who has never held a snake before, and she was just putting her hand in front of her face and I think she just thought it was a mouse or something and she opened her mouth like big to like take a bite and then just closed it. We're like, yeah, my wife and I saw it. And we're like, yeah, we're done. We're gonna put her back. Nobody else saw it, so. <laughs> yeah, that, but, can, that can happen. But she's she's a good girl. She's Look at that girl. tongue on her, man. She's got a nice. Yeah, she's, she's a. That's a long a, tongue. We, we, uh, we, f I can't even explain. We got these two Eastern Indigos on Craigslist. Yes, Craigslist. What? Yes, anyways. W where are the babies at? Dude, I wanna see those Indigo babies. Yeah. That, that's I like, know. I think, in my opinion, that's oh, your crowning I mean, achievement. Here, I don't know if you have any. These are the um, 
Mexican arboreal alligator lizards. Oh, One yeah. of them is unbelievable. Here, let's see if we can get him to sit. He does sit too. You know, I know they tend to keep that blue color in captivity for whatever reason. When he sheds, he'll be bright greenish. Oh, really? Yeah. But I got, I got to say, like, I really like the blue color. I know. Like, I know. Some people argue all over this, you know, how to keep them and all this stuff. We have breeze going on them all the time. We have the misters. We have the humidifiers. <laughs> so we'll see. We have two pairs, one here and one down here. And we're, you know, we got them only about six months ago. So we'll see if they uh, take and hopefully we get some babies from them. All right, so here we go. We got some Eastern Indigo babies. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hello. man. So this is our boy. So this is gonna be our backup male um, because we have our big male here who obviously did the trick, but um, this dude is gorgeous. And these were just born, you know, in April. So they're they're doing pretty well. They're, they're growing real quick. The most, th there there's nothing like these snakes, period. They, the way that they talk, you know, they make huffing sounds, um, just not hissing, but huffing. And uh, the intelligence level when they're just like analyzing what they got going on. Look at this, same thing. <laughs> All right, I, I personally think that Zach's crowning achievement here is captive born and bred baby indigo snakes, but <laughs> let's, let's go see what he got from me. That's a good sized uh, frill. And he's only eight months old. That's only eight months old? Yeah, he's only eight months old. He's 100% Australian frilled dragon. So the Australians get much larger than the other version, the New Guinea version here. So you got your little frills. We actually might get a frilly or a frill out of him real quick. So this is our, up here is Khaleesi. She's 75% Australian and we will be breeding. So he's going to his new home. Bye bye, buddy. Because um, we had two males and a female. And here is our big boy Drogo. And we will see if we can get a little frill out of him. Hey buddy, you wanna show off or no? No? What's up, mama? She has the most personality. All right, you guys have been patient. I'm gonna show you what we got here as far as which snake that Zach got. All right guys, check this out. Here is your Cinnamon Enchi Sunset Female. She is unbelievably gorgeous. I saw photos beforehand, but uh, in person is just something special, I tell you. The oranges just really stand out on the side. So she's unlike any snake I've ever seen. And she seems like a real sweetheart. It seems to be a theme now. Anybody gets a visual sunset from me, I come and do a, a feature on them. And it's, who's gotten one? You'll see, Miguel's gotten one from me. Uh, Brian's gotten one from me. Freedom Breeder got a couple from me, and you're the fourth entity, I guess, to get a visual sunset from me. So what I'm curious is like, what is your process or what, what is your thoughts behind? Because this is, this is a serious investment. I know you obviously built a zoo in your house, but as far as like this much investment into a single snake, like what possesses somebody to do that? Like what, what is the mindset behind this? So... Well, we just had some money laying around. We just wanted a pretty snake for a pet. <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. That's, that's not a, that's just not a kidding. good answer, though. <laughs> um, no, what we, you know, we started actually only about um, less than a year ago. It was, I think, January of 2020, uh, 2021. So uh, it has only been less than a year now, and it's which is crazy. But we just started picking up some snakes and starting really small. Um, my day job is a financial advisor, so I tried to figure out, you know, how to ramp up what we're doing a little bit faster. And uh, when you put money at anything, it can definitely speed up the process of earning money and everything else. And so, one of the projects that we wanted to jump into is the Sunset Project because of its exclusive, exclusive. No, I can't say that word. Exclusivity. I know exclusivity. What you're um, but you know the fact that it's a new color palette and so I'm, I'm also into art which you can see around the zoo and stuff I built everything you see so um, I just think that this has the most potential to do a lot and so obviously it's a very big investment we bought a few of the different sunset uh, visuals out there um, but we're excited about it and I think that again uh, you, most of you will know that when this little girl uh, puts out some babies, we'll make our money back pretty quickly. And as long as uh, things go well around here, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what comes from her. So, 
All right, folks. Well, I got four or five more videos to film today out of Freedom Breeder, so I got to get the road. But uh, Zach, you watching this now? Fantastic to meet you, buddy. Guys, uh, link again down the channel. Go see what he's about to unbox on his channel. Uh, pretty cool. I've never actually seen anything quite like it before, so definitely want to go check that out. And uh, yeah, support good people, supporting good people, educating people about animals. Uh, that's what it's all about, right? That's what it's all about. I gotta go. But you guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on, uh, I think, a live stream coming up this week. Yeah? Sound like fun? Good. I'll see you there. Aloha.